what is up everybody welcome to today's video um it's kind of funny that i'm even making this video to me or that i feel i even have to um normally i wouldn't care but i've just this is basically a video that i posted about um two years ago and it was a customization on some copa mundial some adidas copa mundial that i did and it seems to this day to still be receiving some comments um, from people who feel, I guess, they can decide what I do with my money. I, I, I mean, I really don't understand. Um, but let me show you guys. Okay, so I customize my, my, repeat, my Adidas Copa Mundial. And as you can see, I cut off, I took off the three stripes. All right. Now, I got this idea because I saw Kaka when he was playing in Orlando. He did that to his Copa Mundial. I think he probably got tired of painting them. He was probably, honestly, was probably using a permanent marker or just putting some type of paint. There's a pr proper way to do it. Maybe he just didn't know how or didn't know who to get a hold of to properly do it. Um, so it looks like he just got tired of that and just cut out, cut off the stripes. And I'll post a picture on the screen right now. Get a good look at it. You can obviously see that he does not have any of the stripes in the picture. So I thought to myself, well, let me give that a try. I'm... Listen, I am a shoe fanatic. I love shoes. I'm not into the the soccer cleats or boots because, I mean, yeah, I love the way they feel. I love to talk about them, but I love shoes first and foremost. So I like to customize things. I like to try different um, boots out, which is why I have this channel. Necessarily, I don't consider myself... A good soccer player a great soccer player i'm not a pro nowhere near ever playing pro and i feel like the people that attack me for doing this you know they're saying i ruined a classic boot um this and that you know coming at me i guess deciding that's what i mean by like it's my money i paid for the boots myself they're mine i can do whatever i want with them also I never once stated for somebody to do it. I posted a video of what I did, how I customized my boot, my shoe. Um, I explained in the video. Um, I understood what I was doing. A lot of people say that those stripes are there for lockdown. I guess <laughs> I, I don't believe that and I've worn them with the stripes there and without i mean i don't feel any difference any more lockdown i did feel the the boot actually conform more to my foot without the stripes because um this is just a really soft leather now that really will mold to my foot now i do have three other pairs of copa mundials that i have just painted and i have not touched the stripes i'm going to show you those but as I said, for me, when the, taking off the the stripes made it feel even that much better. It's already a good boot without, if you know, if you don't mind the feeling the little bit of um, heaviness, which I mean, really, it's not much. It's just when you're used used to playing in, in Mercurials or anything else. When you put this on, it's gonna feel a little bit heavier. But once you start playing or whatever, it goes away. But I will tell you that. I understand if you do that, you ruin any warranty. I don't know how long the boot is going to last like this, but I mean, it's holding up pretty good from the two years. I haven't used it a lot. Again, that was another thing. I have so many boots. I did not care removing the th the stripes that were on this boot. At the time, I was working for Nike. I, I mean, to me, it's like, I don't want to be representing a brand. You see pros do that type of stuff all the time. You know, I I really was about my brand. So taking out the three stripes, 
you know, I didn't black this out, but I mean, that's a huge thing. You know, it, it sounds dumb, but it was just something I wanted to so, show loyalty to um, the company that I work for. But these you have to have in your collection because they're just classics. You know, they've been around for a very, very long time. And if you don't own a pair of these, you know, you just got to. All right. So again, it was it's my boot. I chose what I wanted to do because I paid for it. I can modify. I can, I can, if I want to throw these away right now, I can. If I want to take a knife to them and rip them up, I can. I don't understand how people come on the internet and attack people on what they want to do with their own stuff. Uh, I'm not hurting nobody. I'm not damaging your boots. Again, I don't think this boot is ruined at all. Is it modified? Yes, absolutely. Um, can it? make it worse potentially i don't know um so yeah this is both of them my they look at you can see perfectly fine i can still wear these to me they feel better now before you're gonna say no you're lying okay here's another blackout version that i did as you can see the three stripes are still intact they are still there and what's weird is this pair, I don't know if I just wore them more. The leather on these is way different and way better on this one than on these. This is a little bit more stiffer um, in the in the forefoot. I don't know why. This is just buttery soft, like a kangaroo leather boot is supposed to be. Um, so yeah, it's 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 very very nice. These ones are my these ones are my favorite um, of the way they feel. So I don't I don't regret doing that at all um here's the other one of course still the stripes still on there i'm not gonna mess with those i did another customization on some made them all white as you can see hopefully stripes are still there these i haven't got to really play in much um but again the leather does not feel the same like these i don't know why i i don't i don't know if they just make them differently the kangaroo leather is different i, I don't know but to me um just does not feel the same as those these kind of these relatively feel the same stiffness and stuff um maybe they just need breaking time i don't know um so I, hopefully i can get around to breaking them in more and then color wise my favorite customization is this gold pair which i have not worn either and is kind of hard again maybe it's because of the paint I'm not sure, or they just need breaking time. I've not used these at all. Um, I've just painted them, and as you can see, the stripes are still there. Now, are people going to say that I ruined a classic boot because I painted them? Possibly, but guess what, guys? I don't care. This is my channel. Um, these are my boots. I don't know what to say to you guys, you know. I, I don't know. Just basically... If you're on the internet and you're just looking at things to complain about or or I don't know, attack people, you know, don't don't do that. Don't waste your time. You know, I have all the time in the world, so if people want to comment on my video or something, I'm going to say something back. That's just the reality of it. Hopefully, you guys watch my videos. Um I try to be non-objective and just try to help you guys. I'm not I'm not on here making any money um anything like that i'm having fun these are this is my hobby i don't get paid for this uh, another guy tried to attack me and said on this customization boot when i explained to him hey i did not um tell anybody to do this and this was my own um thing and i was aware aware of what um i was doing by cutting off the stripes and he tried to accuse me of saying that i put an ad um in the beginning of the video and that made him, I guess, skip through the video. I don't, I don't know what he was trying to say. And, and I have absolutely no control over any ads on my videos. I was not aware of any ad on my video. And I have no control of saying where to put an ad or if any ads are even on my videos. Again, I am not that YouTuber that is um, crazy up at the top. So I... That was just funny and, and weird to me. But again, guys, um, if you want to comment on my videos, and we're going to go back and forth. I'm going to comment back for sure. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to sound like I, I think I'm something 
don't just don't just know that I, I will I do have time to to answer back stuff. So again, guys, it's the internet. I don't understand why you would care what someone else um, decides to do with their things that they paid for with their own money and they did nothing to bother you. Um, maybe this is not even about the boots in general. Maybe it's just, it's just a rant about something else and the boots just happen to be um, what is the topic. I don't know. I don't know. But guys, I'm not trying to sound like a a-hole, I guess you could say. Um, again, I just do this for fun. I love shoes. You know, if you've seen my other channel, it's more about shoes. If I could show you my area, I love shoes. It doesn't matter if it's cleats, if it's uh, sneakers, I just love shoes. So I buy shoes because I like them and I like to review them and talk about them. And in the process, hopefully help you guys, not because I'm a great soccer player or I think I'm a great soccer player, which I am not. And also, I guess, I guess I will be honest, I guess I can get away with cutting these because like my playing style doesn't really depend on me making cuts and, and doing all this stuff. So a lot of people that say they need to lock down feel, that is, that's not me. I like a good touch on my boots, something that, you know, I can feel the contact of the ball and, and I just like to pass and distribute and take, you know, shots. So cutting the stripes didn't affect me my foot still doesn't move around i don't feel like you know i i'm gonna hurt my ankle or twist my ankle or anything like that that's what you're wondering so i don't recommend you do this if you care about um your boots and you want them looking nice again there's an easy way that you can black them out and if you guys want i can show you this is this is paint this is paint this is not permanent marker and it's gonna stay on there um, versus the last time that I was doing um, permanent marker. So I found out the right way. Again, everything is trial and error. Everything takes time to learn. That's what we're here for, to learn. And um, yeah, but would I do this again? Hell yeah. I would definitely do that again because to me, this feels much better on my foot for me, for what I like. And I'm not the first one that's done it. And I've seen other people doing I think there's one other video one other tutorial where someone did that and they got attacked too. It's just funny. It's the internet, I guess. What can you do? Anyways, guys, that is my video. Which which uh, customization do you guys like? Let me know if you like any of these. Um, or if you want a more in-depth video of how to do this, how to change the color. Now, one thing I will say, sole plates, that's nothing you can do. I That literally is just permanent marker. <laughs> and, you know, I get them from the Dollar Tree. Um, therefore, eventually they'll, it'll pick off little by little and I mean, but you can just repaint them, you know, it's a dollar that you're spending. Um, but this is a good look too, white bottom, but sometimes you just want an all black boot, right? If you're a subscriber, please don't take this the wrong way. I'm not trying to sound arrogant, cocky, nothing like that. I'm just trying to make a point, you know, guys, um, just, uh, just be happy with what you have. Don't worry about what someone else is doing. Watch my video. Don't watch my video. Like it. Don't like. Hey, uh, it's your choice at the end of the day. But thanks for watching. If you've stayed, if you watched the whole video, and thank you. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.